Hi, I'm Sid Smith from DailyHypervisor.com, and in today's tutorial, we're going to install the VCAC 51 Design Center. So, if you haven't done so already, go to VMware.com, download the VCAC 51 Extensibility Kit. When you download that, it's going to have two components: the self-service setup and the Design Center. So, go ahead and install the Design Center. We want to right-click, run as administrator, click Next, accept the terms, click Next, click Next. And now we have to input the information for the model manager. And we want to make sure that we put the port in as well if we're not doing HTTPS. And then a user account that has access to the model manager. Go ahead and install. And click finish. Once your install is complete, we can go and launch the VCAC Design Center. And there it is. Once we launch it, you can see on the side we have our toolbox with all of our different activities that are shipped with the Design Center. If we actually go ahead and click Load, you can also see the different pre-built workflows that come with the Design Center. There's four machine menu item workflows, and then there's other workflows that activate at different life cycles of the virtual machine. We have one at Building Machine, Disposing Machine, Expired Machine, uh, Machine Provisioned, as well as machine registered and unprovisioned. I'm not going to go into the actual workflows in this tutorial. We're going to save that for another one. But there's some other components that get installed with the Design Center as well that are important to point out. So if we actually go to uh, Design Center, we do a directory listing. In here is a tool that will become important for the Design Center as well called Cloud Util. And we'll discuss that more in another tutorial as well. Well, that's installing the VMware vCloud Automation Center Designer. For more information, go to dailyhypervisor.com. Thank you for watching.